Hello students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about the most amazing topic from inorganic chemistry is backbonding. Backbonding has a lot of secondary impacts in chemical reactivity of the molecules. And uh, I can assure from backbonding you can expect one question from NEET examination. Before going for the backbonding, I just want to mention you the India's largest scholarship examination score exam. Why it is said India's largest scholarship examination? Because this scholarship examination gives you the scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and studies set up and laptop and also you will be giving educational allowances and up to 100% scholarship that uh, the course you opted for your coaching. And this score examination can be written by any student from grade 3 to grade 12 and you can be a student of infinity land currently or you may not be a student, you can be studying some other school or college, does not matter, still you are eligible to write this score examination, that is very important point and also this score examination is purely online, you can sit at home and you can do it. And this is a score examination and the description box, the link is available and just click and enroll yourself and enjoy the facilities given by this score exam. And also I just want to mention NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack which contain 27 EITS examination, 13 unit test, 4 part test and 10 grant test based on NEET pattern and 20 online NEET examination full test and also 25 NEET topic wise previous year questions and also three physics chemistry biology books with video solutions on app is available and detailed solutions and performance reports for every test and also your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students and this cost is around 5999 rupees and now it is given for 2999 infinity line is giving a limited period offer when you apply the coupon code YouTube 50, then you will get this discount and description box, it is link is available and you can click it and you can take this all India test series pack, amazing preparation for NEET examination. And without delay, we shall start with what is backbonding. I just want to take an example of BF3 as an example. In BF3, boron undergo sp2 hybridization, which has a planar triangular geometry. So, boron is an electron diffusion compound. It has a vacant p orbital. And the lone pair of electron present on the fluorine is going to give back its electron. This kind of bond is called as back bonding. And this bond gives a lot of structural differences and chemical property variations and all. You can see BF3 is well known Lewis acid. What is the meaning of uh, the term Lewis acid? Lewis acid is the one which takes the electron pair. Electron pair acceptor. Because of the vacant orbital that is possessed by the BF3, it can accept the electron Therefore, BF3 is said to be a Lewis acid. But when you talk about this BF3, BCL3, BI3. Now look at this. BF3, there is a 2p orbital of boron, 2p orbital of fluorine. There is an effective overlapping, effective back bonding is seen. Whereas you can see BCL3, it is 2p orbital of boron, 3p orbital of the chlorine, effective back bonding is seen, not that effective. It is less effective as compared to the BF3. As you can see, BBR3, 2p orbital, 4p orbital back bonding is seen. This is little less effective as compared to this. Of course, BI3, there is overlapping between 2p orbital and 5p orbital. There is a back bonding, that back bonding is not at all effective. As a result of that, effective back bonding makes this orbital of the boron not available. Ineffective overlapping of the Bi3 makes this orbital to be more available so that electron accepting tendency for the Bi3 is more and electron accepting tendency of Bf3 is less. That is the reason why I would say Lewis acid strength is 
Lewis acid strength for BF3 and BCL3 and BBR3 and BI3. So we can say BF3 is less than BCL3 is less than BBR3. So this kind of this kind of questions can be asked in neat examination. What about the following? Which of the following statement is correct as far as the Lewis acid strength is concerned? Strength of back bonding is concerned, and uh, the back bonding parameters are concerned. And also, not only this back bonding discuss about the Lewis acid strength, molecular geometry can also be discussed. Let us talk about what is the geometry of NH3. Yes, NH3 is having a lone pair of electron and it is having a pyramidal in shape, right? What is the shape? Pyramidal. Very good. But you can see, N CH3 thrice trimethylamine, it is a derivative of uh, ammonia and each hydrogen is replaced with CH3, CH3, CH3 and still it is a pyramidal. Now when you talk about uh, tricylylamine, so in case of carbon we will take a SIH3. Let us talk about nitrogen lone pair of electron in place of carbon SiH3 is taken. So, methyl group and silyl group SiH3. Now, do you observe silicon is belonging to period 3, it has a vacant d orbital with it. So, this is the vacant d orbital into this vacant d orbital, the lone pair of the electron present on this ammonia is going and giving this bond. So, as a result of this, it is going to be nitrogen SiH3 and SiH3 and SiH3. It is going to be trigonal planar. It will have its resonating structures like this. So, it decides what is the geometry of the molecule and also it decides what is its chemical respective chemical properties of the molecule. So, this back bonding is a phenomenon where the lone pair of electron present on the atom giving to the vacant orbitals to form a parallel overlapping that is called p pi p pi or p pi d pi in this case. So, this kind of bondings are going to just completely change all the bond parameters and physical properties and the chemical properties. So, like this exceptional conditions are there in the uh, inorganic chemistry as well as in the organic chemistry. So, stay tuned for such type of topics in every day we are coming up with discussing the rock solid discussions of the inorganic chemistry and as well as organic chemistry. Hope you like this session. Please like it and share with your friends and subscribe to Infinity Land Need channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.